Hello everybody and welcome to another A plus 1102 lesson with a bunch of practice questions at the end today I'll be running you through um, 1.8 for the first time explain common OS types and their purpose and we'll be looking at workstation operating systems and cell phone slash tablet operating systems and then giving you some questions at the end to give you an idea of the kind of questions that you might be asked on your actual exam uh, for this we're basically going to need to know some of the key features and functions of the different operating systems, when you might use each, uh, can you identify which one is being described in the given scenario, that kind of thing. So with that being said, we'll jump straight into it and try to make the best use of our time. So we've got three here at the moment. We've got Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. These are kind of like the workstation operating systems that we're going to be looking at. So Windows, of course, developed by Microsoft. Windows is the most widely used desktop operating system globally. It's known for its user-friendly interface, extensive software compatibility, and wide range of hardware support. It's a popular choice for personal computers, workstations, and gaming due to its versatility and familiar familiarity. Uh, we also have Linux open source operating system with a modular design allowing for customization and flexibility so look if you're going for your security plus eventually at the end you're definitely going to get super familiar with linux as you get more into the cybersecurity side of things it's basically the operating system that you generally use largely due to everything that was outlined there it's um it has a very high level of customization and flexibility it's known for its stability security and wide range of distributions tailored to specific needs so you a lot of these linux distributions actually come with a lot of the tools that you need to conduct cybersecurity related operations uh, built in not all of them but a lot of them do and the ones that don't you can easily just super quickly install those programs uh, it is popular among developers power users and server environments due to its open source nature and customization options. Uh, finally, you've got Mac OS, which is developed by Apple. Mac OS is the, sorry, OS is the operating system powering Apple computers like MacBooks and iMacs. It's known for its intuitive interface. It focus on design and multimedia and seamless integration with other Apple devices. So if you've got an iPhone, something like that, you want to integrate it, uh, Mac OS might be the one to go with. Popular among creative professionals, designers, and users who value a very polished and user-friendly experience. All right, so some key three workstation OS is there that you're going to want to be aware of. And then we go into Chrome OS, right? This is distinctly different. So it's developed by Google. Chrome OS is very lightweight. That's the key thing for, for, for Chrome. It's lightweight operating system designed for cloud-based applications and web browsing. So nothing really demanding is gonna be happening on a cloud-based operating system. You're pretty much going to be, sorry, Chrome-based operating system. You're pretty much going to be using the cloud for most of the things that you are trying to do. Uh, it's known for its fast boot times. Why does it have fast boot times? Pretty much everything's on the cloud. It doesn't have a lot of applications. It's trying to load up on the system itself. It's simplicity and focus on online functionality. Again, primarily found on Chromebooks, offering a cost-effective and efficient platform for basic tasks and cloud-based workflows. So the key differences in purpose. Windows is one that offers a familiar and versatile environment for everyday tasks, gaming, and broad software compatibility. Key there, right? Broad software compatibility. Um, that's going to be contrasted with Mac, right? So Mac, on the other hand, just I skipped Linux, we'll come back to it, caters to creative professional and users who value a user-friendly and aesthetically pleasing experience. But also, uh, there are a lot of Windows applications that you can't necessarily use on Mac and uh, when, when you do the numbers, Windows generally has a higher level of compati compatibility with a higher level of software and programs. Um, so that's something to keep into consideration. Linux provides a customizable and powerful platform for developers, power users, and server environments. That's what you're going to be wanting to go for uh, if that is you described there. And then Chrome, cloud-based workflows, right? So understand those key differences and you should be okay. Now. The cell phone slash tablet OS is this one's super easy. There's really not much I have to talk about, but I will cover it just for the sake of the exam objective. So you've got iPad OS um, developed by Apple for iPads, <laughs> All right? So um, it's built upon the foundation of the uh, iOS for the phones, but it's an iPad format. Many of its um, benefits are it offers additional features like uh, stage manager for better multitasking with multiple windows and apps. So if you if you have a tablet that's Apple, and yeah, you're trying to multitask, then you're going to want to use iPad OS. That's pretty much as simple as you're going to need to get 
for the sake of your exam as far as I'm concerned. Uh, iOS is developed by Apple and is used on Apple phone products. So you've got iPhones, iPod Touches, uh, the HomePod for example. It's basically the uh, operating system that's used on Apple related small devices. All right, so that's really what you're gonna need to know for that. And the alternative to that for phones that are not Apple, you also have Android, which is developed by Google and is open source, which allows for customization and flexibility by device manufacturers. So key differences there, uh, just be able to distinguish between those three and you should be all right. Now look, it is, um, feel free to have a pause and a, and a read over that, but I think that one's so intuitive. Uh, iOS is Apple phones, Android is for the sake of your exam, non-Apple phones, and then iPad OS is for iPad slash tablets run by Apple. That's really what you gotta know, they're good for multitasking. So let's get into some questions that you might be faced with on the real exam. Uh, let's go. The first one reads, you're helping your non-tech savvy friend choose a new laptop for basic tasks like browsing the internet, checking email, and using applications like Microsoft Word which operating system might be the most suitable for them based on ease of use and familiarity? A, Linux, B, Windows, C, Mac OS, and D, Chrome OS. Your answer coming in three, two, one. Now, your answer is B, Windows. So uh, before we get into the official explanation, let's have a look at what we were looking for. So our friend is looking for just basic tasks, browsing the internet, checking email so far these are very web based right so we could be looking at windows at the moment we could be looking at even even mac is all right and or chrome um right so at the moment we should have ruled out linux because linux is again power users developers uh things to that effect right we just want basic tasks like browsing the internet, checking email. We should have already crossed Linux off that list in our minds and using applications like Microsoft Word. Okay, Microsoft Word uh, is much more tied in with Windows than it is with any of these two. Which operating system might be the most suitable for them based on ease of use and familiarity? So, okay, now we should have our answer, right? Ease of use and familiarity. Uh, Windows is one of the most easy to use and familiar um, operating systems and we've got Microsoft Word, which is officially kind of linked in with Windows and associated with Windows. So based off of that, we should have come down and narrowed down our options to Windows, which is how we got there. Familiarity, ease of use, Microsoft Word again is tied in with Windows. So that's how we got to that answer. The next question reads, you are a programmer who needs a powerful and customizable operating system for development work. Which operating system best suits your needs? A, Linux, B, Windows, C, Mac OS, or D, Chrome OS? Your answer coming in three, two, one. Now, that answer is Linux. So again, uh, the question outlined, powerful and customizable operating system. Linux is completely, like it's, it's the whole thing it's known for is it is completely customizable, uh, designed for power users, right? Uh, and you're using it for development work, right? So. It has an open source nature. It grants you access to the source code, which allows for deep customization and tailoring the system to your specific needs and preferences. Linux developers, power users, things to that effect, right? And the customization was a key giveaway there as well. Linux is known for its customization. So hopefully we got that one. One more question, I think, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and, uh, oh, maybe two more, why not? You're a graphic designer who needs a computer for photo editing, video editing, and creative workflows, which can be seamlessly integrated with your iPhone. Which operating system might be most suitable for your needs? A, Linux, B, Windows, C, Mac OS, and D, Chrome OS. Your answer coming in three, two, pause the video if you need to, one, go. That answer is Mac OS, right? iPhone, seamless integration with the iPhone. Mac OS is by Apple. iPhone's by Apple. If you're looking for integration with Apple devices, Mac OS is going to be what you want to go with. All right, now we'll make this a last question. You're looking for a new phone that prioritizes a user-friendly interface, a strong security features, uh, seamless integration with your existing Apple devices like MacBook. Which operating system best suits your needs? A, Android. B, iOS, C, iPad OS, or D, all of the above. Your answer coming in three, two, pause the video if you need to, one, now. It is iOS, so again, uh, the, the question essentially pointed out, you're looking for a new phone. So it's a phone, immediately it's not gonna be iPad OS, it's a phone, so it's gonna be between iOS and Android. 
It's not going to be all of the above because iOS is distinctly different from Android. It's not going to be both of them. So we're looking for a phone. Uh, we want a user-friendly interface, strong security features, and seamless integration with Apple devices. All right, it's a phone, it's Apple, it's iOS. That should have been the thought process in our brain, roughly. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed how I broke it down, not only by exam objective, but by the dot point within the exam objective and gave you information and practice questions on that, you will love what I have for you at journeydecipher.com. I've got my A plus 1102 learning guide, which breaks the entire exam down, not only by exam objective, but also by every dot point within the exam objective. And that is over at uh, journeydecipher.com. Here's what people said about my last learning guide. They said, your learning guide is actually goated. I don't comment a lot, but it definitely helps with organized information and helps me piece things together more easily. Thank you so much. Update your notes. Definitely help me pass my test today. Uh, I downloaded your learning guide already, and I can see it will help immensely with studying. I tried other popular resources, but struggled absorbing the material. Will you have one for the 1102? That's what we're talking about right now over at journeydecyber.com for you, waiting for you to pick it up. So again, active recall questions, uh, comprehensive notes, and practice exam questions with an online simulated examination experience waiting for you at journeydecyber.com. If you want to grab that, you'll be as happy as this guy. If you don't, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, I cannot wait to guide you through the rest of your 1102 journey. Thanks, guys. See you later.